what does it take to become a fire a professional firefighter? Uh, well, I guess it takes hard work, dedication. Uh, you have to believe in yourself, and you really have to persevere and know that that's your goal. Once you're hired, none of that changes. <laughs> All that stuff continues on every day, every day of the job. And we have 12% uh, female, which is well above the national average. I think that young women have more opportunities in general because they see different role models. They have examples all around them. You can see their future in their in their eyes with them looking at you. Um, I think you can see the projection of what they can be. And so their face lights up because maybe they haven't seen it before. High five? Yeah. Can say high five? yeah. <laughs> I didn't necessarily think until maybe my 20s uh, that women were firefighters. I was really glad when I got into the profession. I, I kind of like to think about it that, uh, you know, with this forward progress, we're all just doing the same job. Our profession is merely a vehicle. But what's important to us is the mentorship and teaching the life skills and the leadership and putting them in positions where they have to challenge themselves. The campus for young women ages 14 to 18, it's meant to mentor and teach life skills, teach grit, and to expose them to the profession of firefighting. But I think it's part of the responsibility of being a public servant. We're a little bit in the spotlight to begin with. You can't miss a big red fire engine driving down the road. <laughs>